The subset sum problem is a decision problem where the input consists of a set of integers s and an integer k. And the question is, does there exist a subset of s such that the sum of the integers in this subset is equal to k? For example, suppose this is the set s that we are given, and the integer k is equal to 12. This instance of the subset sum problem has a solution, since the sum of the elements negative 1, 3, and 10 equals the target value 12. The subset sum problem is clearly an NP, because when given a subset of integers, we can easily verify whether the sum equals k in polynomial time. Hence, to prove that the subset sum problem is NP complete, we can reduce from the 3 sat problem to the subset sum problem. We take an arbitrary instance of the 3 sat problem and use it to construct a specific instance of the subset sum problem. Then, we show that the answer to the 3 sat instance is yes, if and only if the answer to the subset sum instance is yes. An instance of the 3 SAT problem consists of n variables and m clauses, where each clause consists of 3 literals. Recall that a literal is a variable or its negation. The input formula is the conjunction of the m clauses. Now, suppose we're given an arbitrary instance of the 3 sat problem. We want to construct an instance of the subset sum problem based on the input Boolean formula. To do this, we define a set of integers based on the input Boolean formula. For each variable xi, we define the integers ai and bi. And for each clause capital CI, we define the integers little ci and di. The value of k will be specified later. Each integer consists of n plus m digits, where n is the number of variables and m is the number of clauses. The a values correspond to the variable xi, while the b values correspond to the negation of the variable xi. The digit of ai associated with xi is always set to one, while the digits associated with the remaining variables are set to zero. The same holds for bi. If a clause ci contains the variable xi, then the digit of ai associated with ci is set to one, otherwise it's set to zero. Similarly, if a clause ci contains the negation of the variable xi, then the digit of bi associated with ci is set to one, otherwise it's set to zero. The values of the integers ci and di are equal. For both integers, all digits are set to zero except for the digit that corresponds to the clause capital CI. Finally, all digits of K that correspond to the variables are set to one, and all digits of K that correspond to the clauses are set to three. If the value of a variable XI is set to true, then we pick AI from the set. If it's set to false, then we pick BI. Since the digits of K that correspond to the variables are set to one, we must pick exactly one of AI and BI which aligns with how a variable is either set to true or false, but not both. But why do we set the digits of k that correspond to the clauses to three? Well, it's because there are three literals in each clause. Suppose the three set instance is satisfiable. We first pick integers based on the assigned values of the variables. Since each clause is satisfied, there is at least one literal in every clause that is true. If all three literals in a clause capital CI are true, then we do not need to include little ci or di in the subset because the sum of the digits in that column is already equal to three. If only one literal in a clause capital CI is true, then we need to include both little ci and di in the subset because the sum is only one originally. And if only two literals are true, then we include exactly one of little ci and di because the sum is originally two. Note that little ci and di can contribute a value of at most two to the sum. This requires there to be at least one literal in every clause that is true. For the other direction, suppose a subset of integers sums to exactly k. Since the digits of k that correspond to the variables are equal to one, exactly one of a i and b i is included in the subset for each i. Hence, this subset of integers corresponds to a valid assignment of values to the variables. And since the digits of the integers corresponding to each clause sums to three, there must be at least one literal in each clause that is true. This proves that the subset sum problem is an NP complete problem. 